There's so much blood everywhere. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like Jeremy. I wasn't a fan of Jeremy, but Jeremy didn't have to die and it's going to kill Richard. It's going to kill him and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help him. I don't know how to help Richard. Oh my god, so Bob. <laughs> oh my god, so bad. Uh, You're going to tell them that you tried to save him? And you're going to tell them that you did some stuff I didn't even know you were capable of doing? Wrapping his leg and you fought so hard. Uh, and I'm so proud of you. Well, we're going to get out of here. And that's the end. That's the end of it. We're going to get out. Okay? And I don't know how yet, but we're going to do it. We're not waiters. We're fighters. We're fighters, and we can get out. We just have to figure out how. I found the note I wrote. I found the note I wrote. I don't know if I can even hear right now. I don't know if I can hear it. Richard. I will always, always love you. We can overcome anything in this world. So long as we're together, you are my soul and my best friend. Susan. Maybe we need to, maybe we need to to honor the people who lost their lives in here. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe this isn't for Norm. Who cares about Norm? These are people. These were people. We met in a riding class, and he was so good. He was such a good rider. And he was so shy, but when he got up in front of the class, he just exuded this warmth and confidence. I'm in a room full of blood. There's bodies in here, and I can forget, and you can help me forget. I understand that, but what about when I do get out of here? What happens when I get out? I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see Jeremy, and I'm going to see the blood, and I'm going to smell it. I'm going to smell it every day, and so is he. Just don't let anything happen to him. Can you tell Norm? Can you tell Norm? Can anyone tell Norm not to let anything happen to him? I don't care. I don't care what happens to me. I don't care. Just let him get out. Let him get out of here. He's such a good writer. He's so talented. He has so much ahead of him in his life, and he needs to get out. He needs to. He needs to get out. Tell Norm. Tell him I don't care. Tell Norm I don't care. Just let Richard out. I'll trade. That's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. I'll trade. I'll trade myself for Richard. I'll stay and Richard can go. Question. I want to ask if the furry handcuffs were hers. I want to know. Well, They're weird. They're, well, no, I can answer that one. That, that, that was in, this is in the bag. The Valentine's bag. These are just these are just fuzzy hands. Let's cuffs. ask. Okay. All right. If I'm doing this, then we're gonna ask. We're gonna ask if they're hers. Okay. All right. Okay, Alice. This is a yes or no question. Or did the furry handcuffs belong to you? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yes. Well, oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the furry handcuffs go on to Alice. That's great. When we met? Yeah. Yeah. 
And on the very first day, remember we talked about what we wanted? You know, in our life, more than career, more than a house, and oh. and I'm around kids every day. I see them, and I see them walk to school, and they have their lunch boxes. And their moms are, 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 their moms are hugging them goodbye. And I, I always thought I can't wait, I can't wait until that is my baby. And, it, and, and I can look at that baby's eyes and I can see, see my eyes and see your eyes. And I thought, you know, I, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> I knew something was wrong. And I went to the doctor and I thought, oh, I'm pregnant. I am pregnant. And I thought, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I can't be pregnant. And I'm so sorry. I know for my and I just couldn't tell you, Richard. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. That is all I ever, ever wanted. And I only wanted to give it to you too, and I can't. I am, I am a woman. I am a woman, and I was born. I was born to be a mother, and I can't. <laughs> I don't know, every day it seemed like the wrong day to tell you. You know, you would you would make some sort of stride in your work or or you'd be having a bad day and I didn't Jesus, the light go, oh, Susan, be careful, there's glass on the floor. Don't cry. Susan. It's okay, don't cry. Susan, it's not real. It's not real. We're here for you. Look at me. Come here. Put that down for one minute, all right? Come here. You and me, we are getting out of here. They and they have not stuck with us for nothing. You haven't been with us for nothing. We promise, we promise you we're getting out. And we thank you for helping us. And no matter what happens, I will always love you, Richard. I will always love you. We're going to make it out. Susan. Do you hear me? Susan. We're going to make it out, okay? I'm just scared. I'm just a little scared. I'm just a little scared. We've been hearing those babies crying and 
It's just a little scary. But we're going to make it out of here. It's okay, don't cry. Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Oh, don't cry. It's okay. Okay. You don't have to cry. Don't cry. You come at me, you son of a bitch. It's okay. I love you. Susan, I love you. Come on. Don't cry. Don't cry, little baby. Richard, our baby is crying. Thank <laughs> you. 